What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Snakeman 1988. I'm doing a quick update. I got my snake room semi put together and the house semi cleaned up. I uh, want to give a shout out to Cute Gay Jason. Good guy. Inspired me to do what I'm doing in the reptile community. Uh, just recently became friends with him. Been watching his videos forever. Uh, real good guy. Knows his stuff. Completely suggest him to anybody. Uh, anybody should check out his channel. I'll try and get a link up for that. Great guy. Thumbs up. Him and Al, Viper Keeper. Viper Keeper is another guy who inspired me to get into reptiles. He's another great guy to check out his channel too. Uh, other than that, we'll get on to the reptiles, which everybody wants to see. Gotta make my way up to the reptile room real fast. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, I know most people keep their reptiles in a basement or downstairs. My house doesn't happen to have a basement, so I got an upstairs room. Get a light on here. It's the door in there. Uh, keep it padlocked. I had a lot of little kids running around my house this summer. So uh recommend that for anybody keeping reptiles or big snakes. It's a caution. Got the signs there. Live harmless reptiles. Thought that was kind of funny. And Rodent Pro. That's where I get all my food from. Great company. A plus. Recommended. Just decorate the door a little bit. This is the reptile room. Totes everywhere. Windows open. Cage is open. I just got done cleaning. Uh, they ate yesterday. They be they eat every week. Thursdays. Um, this is my albino Burmese python. Everybody's seen her. This is banana. the camera. See if it'll focus. Make me jump back a little. She just shut out. She likes to come out and visit. She's still uh never been bit by her, knock on wood. Still working with her. I got her from a friend. But uh She gets an attitude from time to time, and she's still in her, she just ate yesterday, so she got that pre-strike mode going on, still in a little bit of feed mode. Water dish. She's gorgeous, though. Just shut out. Getting big. I don't know if you guys have seen videos of her before. She used to be pretty small. I've got her eating an extra large rat weekly, so she's filling out real fast. Got the heat tape here. It's 90 on the hot side, 80 on the cold side. I run the lights. I uh, I got a timer box here. I run the lights in these two cages, off and on. Every two hours they come on and go off, back and forth like that, uh, throughout the day. And then for eight hours at night they're completely off. That way it don't get too hot for them during the summer months. There she is, just checking you out. Glass is dirty. I need to get vinegar. This is the Ritix cage. Just cleaned it. I do the same for him. I use a heat gun for uh, temps. But that's his cage. He's over here. She, I should say. Then I got my gripper and my snake hook. Homemade snake hook. Works good. Hanger. Tape. Don't need nothing else. That I bought. Just a gripper. That's what I use to feed them. Because my rear tick goes nuts. This tote. This is my table, of course. Got to have one in your snake room. Then over here. It's kind of a ghetto rack system. It's not even really a rack system. Storage. Uh, that's reptile relief. I had a mite problem. Extra bulbs. Extension cord. That's for spraying down. This is my charts. Keep all the information on all my snakes. Uh, Reptile USA, great magazine. And then under here, I got a ghetto rigged light for heat on the hot side, cold side. It stays about 85, 90 on that side. Gets down to about 80 on the cold side. Um, 
these guys, have, one just came out of shed and one is pregnant. I house them together. Uh, I've been trying to breed them. But, so they're a little bit pissy at the moment. I know, that's nuts. Pissy boas, who would ever thought. She's thinking about biting me. But that's the female that's curled up there. She's possibly pregnant. And that's the male chilling there. Now again, I'm going to ask this question. See if anybody answers. Or anybody knows. I haven't been able to get an answer before. But, uh. If I can get this lid back. Okay. These were a project taken on to me uh, by a friend. Couldn't have some anymore. So out of kindness of my heart, I took them on. Um, I do that a lot. They're supposedly a breeding pair. We're going to find out. Uh, I've seen them connected, their tails connected once. I don't know much about breeding boas. I wasn't going to get into boas. This just happened to fall on my lap. They've been housed together all their life. If you can see, my camera focus, she has a red tail. I've owned a Colombian red tail baby before, and she's a classic. And then him. He was given to me as a Colombian red tail. The difference in him is just he's a lot darker. Uh, he don't have the yellow on his saddles, really. His tail's a lot darker. Um, her head and his head, his head's a lot, I don't know, uh, nose is smaller. Maybe I'm just seeing things. But, uh, if anyone can tell me, boa experts, the difference. If he's a regular Colombian or something, or if I'm just seeing things, I'd be grateful. Now, moving on. Over here is the yellow anaconda. A female yellow anaconda, basic setup. Uh, she gets a heat light. She's usually sitting on top of that. They share that heat light. She's doing good. All these snakes are eating and shedding. So, uh... Keeping them in these totes, it's temporary till I can get new cages, but it seems to be working fine. She's a little shy. I'm a little uh, hesitant with her. I took a nasty bite off her, didn't think much about it, and ended up getting blood poisoning. And this is last, this is where I soak for like the retic and the berm. They get soaked before they shed. Uh, when they go into blue phase, I soak them. This is the retic. And she can be pissy, so I don't handle her a lot. I do, but at the same time, I don't, not as much as I should. I've been working with the berm more. I work with her off and on. She's just getting a bath right now and soaking because she's going to shed. And I want that shed to come out. But she's just a regular female retic. Gorgeous snake. Uh, so just a quick, quick cap on everything. That's the reptile room. I got the Burmese. Her name's Banana. She is about 8 to 10 foot, weighs about 10 pounds. I got the Ritic. Name's Tick Tick. She's about 8 to 10 foot, weighs about 8 pounds. Got a yellow anaconda named Corona. She's about 4, four or 5 foot, weighs about 4 pounds. And then I got Bonnie and Clyde, which are my two uh, Colombian, supposedly, boas. They're each about 5 to 6 feet and weigh about 7 to 8 pounds. Possibly going to have babies out of them. And that's Banana saying goodbye. Drinking out of her water dish. But again, check out uh, Viper Keeper's channel if you get a chance. And check out QG Jason. Uh, great guy. Both of them inspired me to do what I do and uh, pick up in the reptile business. Uh, take care, YouTube.